Howdy, quick question. Does Dialogflow CX integrate with telephone providers? Yes, it does. Can I learn more about the IVR features? Sure, then stay tuned to learn more. For a full voice experience, your Dialogflow CX agent can be integrated with various conversation platforms, such as Avaya, Genesis, Mitel, Five9, Vonage, and more. These providers offer a user interface for callers and pass their questions through Dialogflow's API. It's important to note that every platform's integration handles interactions in their own unique way. So depending on the telephony provider you use, you will need to review their specific documentation. So let's take a tour. When we dive into Dialogflow CX's console, on the left side, we click the Manage tab and scroll down to the section called Integrations. Under the One Click Telephony header, you will find partner built-in telephony integrations that were created by Google Partners in collaboration with Google. The following partners are listed as of the making of this video, which are Avaya and Audio Codes. There are also independent integrations that are not built in that are created by organizations and individuals. They are built using the Dialogflow API. And as a friendly heads up, when you need support for any telephony integration, the partners are the folks that will assist you. With that being said, the overall process will be to build your Google Cloud project, enable the Dialogflow API within your project, and then create a Dialogflow CX agent. Since most agent conversations are built within many flows and pages in mind, you will also typically build a webhook service to generate a dynamic response based on your business's logic. You will also most likely need to keep in mind certain pieces of information for the integration, such as your project ID, agent ID, and or the API key. IVR settings can be found at three different levels in Dialogflow, at the agent level, flow level, and page level. For starters, you must first enable the agent level settings and select the Speech and IVR tab. Then under the advanced settings, toggle the Enable Advanced Settings on. There are three features to note. The first is called End of Speech Sensitivity, which helps determine how sensitive the speech endpointing should be when a caller finishes speaking, and it uses Google Cloud Speech. Next is Barge In, which allows the speaker to interrupt the agent this is helpful so that the caller doesn't have to wait to hear the full response from the agent in order to speak. Or another way of looking at it is if you disable the barge in setting, the agent would only begin to listen to a caller's speech until it has completely finished playing its response. And last is the Google Cloud Storage URI, which enables you to reference a Google Cloud Storage path back in order to access pre-recorded audio. After enabling IVR settings at the agent level, you can also customize IVR settings further on a per flow level. You can do this by hovering over a flow's name, click the dots icon and choose flow settings. Then you toggle enable advanced speech settings. By enabling IVR features at the flow level, they override the agent level IVR settings it was defaulting to. This is extremely useful if you want to have different IVR settings in a multi-flow agent. The third level of IVR settings resides on each page. You can access these by hovering over a page, clicking the dots, then selecting page settings. And same as a flow, a page's IVR settings will default to the agent settings or flow settings, unless you specifically select customize at the page level. Now you may be thinking, when might I want to use the page and flow level settings? This depends on your use case. For example, let's say as a user dictates and pauses in between numbers, such as my account number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The user benefits from extending the timeout, so you may want to make sure that the timeout setting isn't too short or the user will be cut off, which is very rude in conversations. Furthermore, if I stayed silent because I didn't know my account number and I was looking for it, then tweaking the no speech timeout setting will allow the agent to help me by further prompting me on where to get that account number. And there you have it. 
a quick walkthrough of IVR features and settings in Dialogflow CX. I left some helpful links in this video's description if you would like to learn more or if you missed any of our previous videos on Dialogflow CX. I hope to see you in the next episode of Deconstructing Chatbots. If you like this video and would like to see more of this type of content, it helps to like and subscribe to our channel. Cheers and thank you for watching.